Pudong, Shanghai. At an abandoned building, there were many people gathered there, about a thousand people gathered. The thousand people belonged to two groups of triads, Dragon Wing and Hawk Talon. These two triads were the ones who ruled over Shanghai's underworld. The boss of Dragon Wing and the boss of Hawk Talon came up to an agreement to determine the true ruler of Shanghai's underworld tonight. Tonight, they decided to fight a bloody battle. The loser would get the territory annexed and got their triad destroyed, it was a life and death battle for both triads. Dragon Wing boss, Lu Gang brought 500 elites with him. He chose the best of the best of Dragon Wing members. The same for Hawk Talon boss, Pan Weiyan also brought 500 elites of Hawk Talon members. Amongst the 500 elites of Dragon Wing, there was a person brought five pipes on his back. Even though it was only a mere pipe, but the elites of Dragon Wing respected this person. Tang Xiaoyang, he did not have a high status in Dragon Wing. He was just a mere thug responsible for one district, Yuyuyukan district. It could be said he was at the bottom rank in Dragon Wing. However, even though Tang Xiaoyang was at the bottom rank, Dragon Wing's elites respected him. They called him Brother Tang. Tang Xiaoyang gained these people's respect through his prowess. When it came to fighting, people called him Berserk Tang from Yuyuyukan. Just like a madman, he charged forward to the enemy and went berserk. That was how Tang Xiaoyang way of fighting. Whether he faced ten enemies, dozens, or even a hundred, he was fearless. This was how he gained the title Berserk Tang from Yuyuyukan. With a pipe in his hand, he was invincible. This was not the first time Dragon Wing had a big battle like this. However, since the first day, he joined Dragon Wing, Tang Xiaoyang never absence from the battle. Tonight was the same as usual. Tang Xiaoyang responded to his boss call. Even Lu Gang, boss of Dragon Wing fond of Tang Xiaoyang. If not for Tang Xiaoyang rejected Lu Gang's promotion. Maybe Tang Xiaoyang might be Lu Gang's right hand today. Tang Xiaoyang approached Lu Gang under the gaze of Dragon Wing members. Boss! Lu Gang turned toward the voice and grinned, Oh, you have come. Lu Gang approached Tang Xiaoyang and gave him a bear hug. Lu Gang was taller than Tang Xiaoyang, two meters height and his body was filled with muscle. After giving a bear hug, Lu Gang turned toward the Hawk Talon group. How is it? Do you think we can win tonight? Lu Gang offered cigarettes as he spoke to Tang Xiaoyang. Tang Xiaoyang refused the cigarettes, even though he was a street thug, he did not have a habit of smoking as the other thugs. Tang Xiaoyang directed his sharp eyes toward Hawk Talon who was twenty meters apart from where he stood. Not long after, Tang Xiaoyang smirked, Don't worry, boss. I will bring that bastard Pan's body to you. Tang Xiaoyang declared confidently. He was not overconfident, but this was him. He believed himself Hawk Talon was just the same as the beforehand force he against. He would crush them with the pipe in his hand. The dark smirk became more obvious as his sharp and bloodlust eyes eyeing the prey, Hawk Talon. Even Lu Gang himself somewhat scared of Tang Xiaoyang. If not because of Tang Xiaoyang showed a lack of ambition, Lu Gang would try to finish Tang Xiaoyang off earlier. Tang Xiaoyang was like a double-edged sword. But it was fortunate Tang Xiaoyang was loyal and lack of ambition. Every promotion he offered was rejected by Tang Xiaoyang. Tang Xiaoyang would rather manage a small district Yu Yukin. Lu Gang still clearly remembered Tang Xiaoyang's rejection. Boss, my nickname is Berserk Tang from Yu Yukin and I quite like this name. So I will just stay at Yu Yukin, don't bother me with another territory. Now, Lu Gang trusted Tang Xiaoyang because of his lack of ambition. He also liked Tang Xiaoyang's answer. Each time before going to battle, Lu Gang always asked the same question. He also always got the same answer. Not only that, Lu Gang always kept his words and presented the enemy's boss to him. So hearing Tang Xiaoyang's answer relieved his tension. Lu Gang tapped Tang Xiaoyang's shoulder, Good, I will leave Bastard Pan for you. Even though they were triads, they always kept their words. The agreement said the battle started at 2 a.m., then both sides really wait until 2 a.m. to start the battle even though all members were here. It was still half an hour before the battle started, 
but the atmosphere already intense. Tension from both sides almost reached the peak. There were some people nervous and anxious. There were some people impatient. There were some people disdain their opponent. Amidst these people, there was someone always staring at the opponent, just like a predator watching his prey. Tang Xiaoyang sat at the front line of Dragon Wing and his blood-red eyes never left Hawk Talon. Tick. 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 Bang. Right at 2 a.m., the sound of metal getting hit resounded. That sound was the sign that the battle started. Tang Xiaoyang immediately shot up and dashed toward Hawk Talon with a pipe in his right and four pipes on his back. Hooray Oaya! Tang Xiaoyang's cry reverberating throughout. The cry shocked the Hawk Talon. They did not expect that there would be someone dared to charge at the crowd of 500 people alone. Moreover, with only a mere pipe. Ah, he is Berserk Tang from Yuliukin. He is Berserk Tang. A panicked voice resounded from Hawk Talon. Berserk Tang from Yuliukin. It was a famous legend in the underworld. Except one was newbie, everyone in the underworld already heard the infamous Berserk Tang from Yuliukin. The madman who never lost in the fighting, with 21 killing records. For out of 21 were a triad boss. Killing or to be killed was a natural matter in the underworld, but killing four triad bosses was another matter. Each boss would have their personal guard, the best out of the best of their men. However, this berserk tang still managed to kill the triad boss. Hawk Talon grew restless when this madman now became their opponent. Don't be afraid, he is alone and we have 500 people with us. What are you afraid of? As the boss of Hawk Talon, Pan Weiyan opened his mouth. Actually, he himself was scared of this berserk tang from Yuliukin. However, as a leader, he could not show it. He had to hide his fear and rally his men's morale. Just as he thought his words worked, another cry which was louder than Tant Xiaoyang's resounded. Hooray! Dragon Wing's men followed Tang Xiaoyang. He let out the same war cry as Tang Xiaoyang in unison. The result was effective, the war cry intimidated Hawk Talon. With the war cry, the battle to determine the Lord of Shanghai's underworld started. The brawl lasted three hours, right at 5 a.m., the battle was over with Dragon Wing as the winner. Tang Xiaoyang was the first one charged at the enemy's line and he was also the last one who was still standing. The other members of Dragon Wing were sprawled on the ground in exhaustion. Shrek! 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 Tang Xiaoyang dragged a body with him. He was walking toward Liu Gang who was still in the back line. He was dragged Pan Weiyan over, just like he said before the battle, he would bring Pan Weiyan body to Liu Gang. Boo! Tang Xiaoyang threw Pan Weiyan before Liu Gang, boss. I bring you, bastard Pan. Liu Gang stared blankly at Tang Xiaoyang. Just looking at Tang Xiaoyang, already made his body shuddered voluntarily. The blue shirt and jean Tang Xiaoyang had on his body turned red. Blood moistened his face and clothes. Liu Gang did not know it was Tang Xiaoyang's blood or his opponent. However, he could see a few cut wounds on his arms. He immediately looked away and set his eyes at the unconscious Bastard Pan. With just one look, Liu Gang could see Bastard Pan's for limbs were broke. Berserk Tang from Yuliukin really gave no mercy to his enemy. Good job! You can go to old man Dong to treat your wound. Even though this subordinate of his somewhat scary, but it was also a relief to have a reliable subordinate as Tang Xiaoyang. Old man Dong was a doctor Liu Gang hired. Each time they had a war, old man Dong would always wait for them outside of the battlefield. Actually, old man Dong had a small clinic, but he earned a little from the clinic. This was the reason why old man Dong was willing to work with Dragon Wing to earn extra cash. Upon seeing Tang Xiaoyang's condition, Old Man Dong was shocked on the spot. Don't worry Old Man Dong, this is not my blood. You only need to stop the bleeding in my hand and my back. Tang Xiaoyang grinned. Tang Xiaoyang and Old Man Dong was an old acquaintance. After all, Old Man Dong's clinic was in Yuliukin district. Old Man Dong could only shake his head and began his work. 
even though Tang Xiaoyang was part of triad and often involved in fighting between triads. Old man Dong still thought Tang Xiaoyang was a fine man. Tang Xiaoyang was often helping the people in Yuliukan district. Old man Dong was one of the most often got help from Tang Xiaoyang. Old man Dong focused on his work while Tang Xiaoyang did not say anything. The van was fell into silence as old man Dong stitched Tang Xiaoyang's wound. After dressing the wound, Liu Gang ordered his driver to send Tang Xiaoyang back. The battle was over, Liu Gang felt Tang Xiaoyang already contributed enough. So he did not get Tang Xiaoyang to take care of the aftermath. Seizing the enemy's territory or taking care of Hok Talon's remnant, etc. 6 a.m., Tang Xiaoyang reached his home. His home was at the end of Yuliukan district. When he reached home, he immediately lied down on his bed. He did not care if the blood on his body had not dried up yet. Tang Xiaoyang just wanted to get rest as soon as possible. The bedsheet turned red as soon as his body landed on the bed. Tang Xiaoyang however did not care. As soon as his body touched the bed, he fell asleep. Tang Xiaoyang did not know how long he had been sleeping. However, he was awakened by a strange robotic voice. The voice was unclear and annoying. It kept buzzing and Tang Xiaoyang was forced to wake up. Game Start Step 1. Survival for the Fittest It was what Tang Xiaoyang heard as soon as he opened his eyes. He immediately jolted awake and found there was no one in his room. However, Tang Xiaoyang was sure he heard the voice, a robotic voice. He was looking at the source of the voice but found nothing. It did not take long before another strange voice resounded again. It was not a robotic voice, but it was like an unknown groan. Grerf! Tang Xiaoyang turned his head and found something unbelievable. He found a zombie in his room. Never crossed in his mind there's one day a zombie would appear in his room. The zombie's face was rotten, there was a hole in its nose, its left eye popped out of its socket, and maggots were wriggling in its mouth. The zombie was quite disgusting even for Tang Xiaoyang. The zombie approached Tang Xiaoyang. Its movement was so slow, it was about the same about of kids walking speed. When the zombie arrived before Tang Xiaoyang, it brandished its rotten claw toward him. For an experienced Tang Xiaoyang, it was quite easy to dodge the attack. He moved to the left and avoided the rotten claw. Bang! The zombie hit Tang Xiaoyang's wooden bed and the bed was broken into two. It was moved so slow, but it had a big strength. Tang Xiaoyang himself shocked that the zombie could break his wooden bed. After failing the first attack, the zombie turned to Tang Xiaoyang again. Slowly, it approached Tang Xiaoyang. Meanwhile, Tang Xiaoyang was looking for his pipe. After coming back from the battle, he went to bed and now he forgot where he placed his pipe. As the zombie drew near, finally Tang Xiaoyang found his pipe. The pipe was beside the bed. He could not see it earlier with the zombie blocked his view. The pipe was right behind the zombie. Fush! The zombie once again swung its arm toward Tang Xiaoyang. At the same time, Tang Xiaoyang rolled forward and easily dodges the zombie's hand. As he rolled down, his hand reached to his pipe, the biggest one. He picked up the pipe and distanced himself away from the zombie. Hmm, let's see. In the movie, one has to destroy the head to kill the zombies. Without waiting for the zombie to approach him, Tang Xiaoyang moved forward. Zombie's movement somewhat slow, but its reaction was fast. The zombie swung its hand forward, but zombie's slow movement was its biggest weakness. Tang Xiaoyang easily dodged the hand as he moved to the right. From the zombie's left side, Tang Xiaoyang swung the pipe to the zombie's head back. Bog! There was no way the slow zombie could avoid Tang Xiaoyang's pipe. The zombie fell forward hard. Tang Xiaoyang also retreated, he was afraid of the zombie's head would burst and have its blood splashed to him. Even though he did not know if the zombie's blood could infect him or not, but Tang Xiaoyang still avoided it. He did not want to die young, there were still many things he wanted to do. Tang Xiaoyang distanced himself from the zombie, but the zombie's head was quite hard. It did not get destroyed even was hit by a steel pipe. Grower. 
the zombie struggled to get up after falling down hard. Tang Xiaoyang advanced forward and swung his steel pipe to zombie's head once again. One hit is not enough, then I will hit you again. Bog. The zombie's head was really hard, even after receiving two hits from the steel pipe, it's still complete. However, from the place where he hit, green liquid flowed down. Two hits were not enough, then three. Three hits are not enough, then four hits. Tang Xiaoyang kept hitting the zombie's head until the head was destroyed beyond recognition. Splash! The green liquid splashed onto his clothes. Tang Xiaoyang immediately removed his clothes and threw them away. After removing his clothes, his fine body was exposed. His body was full of scars. Tang Xiaoyang checked if the blood reached his body. He did not find the green liquid on his body, Tang Xiaoyang relieved. However, next, he realized something weird to his body. The wound he got from last night's fight was gone. Yes, the wound on his body and hand vanished. Moreover, now he just realized his body was lighter than before. Tang Xiaoyang furrowed his brows as he was pondering things that happened here. A strange robotic voice, a zombie appeared out of nowhere, and all his wounds were healed. Everything was surreal for him to believe. Am I in my dream? Tang Xiaoyang could not help but come with a rather absurd conclusion. Everything was surreal, but he felt the sensation was so real to be a dream. In confusion, Tang Xiaoyang turned around and approached the wall. Bam! Tang Xiaoyang hit the wall with his own head. Ugh! He let out a pain groan as he rubbed his forehead. If he was in a dream, he should have woken up by now. But it turned out this was not a dream, the headless zombie was still there. Hmm, so the robotic voice and zombie thing are real. Tang Xiaoyang held his chin and walked toward the bed's head. He pulled the drawer and took a plain white shirt. It said the game started, but what game? What's the game's purpose? And where did this zombie come from? Tang Xiaoyang fell into deep thought. Puzzled after puzzled appeared in his mind. I am not a fan of the game, but in each game, there must be a way to finish the game. But, the more he thought about it, the more confused he became. Tang Xiaoyang liked to watch a movie, but he was not a fan of the game. Last time he played the game, it was PlayStation 1. He played a soccer game. Since he dropped the school and entered the underworld, Tang Xiaoyang never played a game anymore. Arg! Tang Xiaoyang scratched his hair in frustration. In the movie, the virus is the cause of the people turns into a zombie. However, this zombie is not caused by a virus, it just appeared out of nowhere. Tang Xiaoyang was living alone. That was why he came into this conclusion. If zombies really appeared out of nowhere just like in my place, then what about? Here Tang Xiaoyang rose up and dashed out of his house. He was the ruler of Yuyuken district and he lived at the end of the district. When he opened the door, there were many zombies walking around the street. As Tang Xiaoyang went out, the zombies stopped moving and turned their heads toward him. Oh, sh asterisk t. There are too many zombies here. They are slow, but their strength could not be underestimated. If I am surrounded, I am done for. Fighting against zombies was different than fighting the people. Even he was getting hit by a fist, stick, pipe, or even blade, he would not die instantly as long as he avoided the vital point. However, if it was a zombie, he had to extra be careful. One hit from a zombie might turn him into a zombie as well. It was not different than death itself. Moreover, one hit from his pipe would not be able to kill a zombie. He at least needed five to seven hits to kill one zombie. The best choice was to escape and find a good weapon to kill the zombie. However, Tang Xiaoyang did not escape, he chose to fight these zombies. I have to save my people and kill these damn intruders, zombies. He scanned the surrounding. The nearest zombie was ten meters away from him. You will be the first prey of this berserk Tang. Tang Xiaoyang rushed toward the nearest zombie while the zombies who were aware of his presence also swarmed toward him. Considering the zombie's slow movement, he had five to ten seconds to finish a zombie so he would not get surrounded by the zombies. 
Tang Xiaoyang easily dodges the zombie claw and ran behind the zombie. Boo! He hit the zombie's head with all his might. Without any resistance, the zombie fell. Tang Xiaoyang immediately swung his steel pipe again. Boo! Boo! Splat! This time, Tang Xiaoyang crushed the zombie's head with three hits. He was delighted with such a result. But it was not the time to get happy, he still needed to take clean his territory from these filthy zombies to rescue his people. He scanned the surrounding once again and found the nearest zombie was three meters away. Tang Xiaoyang charged forward. Boo! 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 Another three hits to finish off one zombie. After he killed the fifth zombie, Tang Xiaoyang's movement became even more agile. When he finished off the ninth zombie, the strange robotic voice resounded again in his mind. You have leveled up. You gained two attribute points. You can allocate the attribute point by opening the status screen. Hero froze on the spot for a moment. The robotic voice distracted him, but he immediately moved away. Level up? Attribute point? Status screen? What is that? Tang Xiaoyang muttered in confusion. However, next, he saw something even more unbelievable. A screen appeared and his name was on the screen, showing things that he could not understand. Name, Tang Xiaoyang. Level, 2. Talent, none. Attribute point, 2, you could allocate the point to the attribute below. Strength, 13. Agility, 8. Vitality, 6. Stamina, 10. Magic power, 1. Sense, 5. Skill, basic detection. Ha, ha, ha. Tang Xiaoyang breathed heavily as he distanced himself from the zombies. Each time he killed one zombie, he had to keep a safe distance from the zombies. If he was getting surrounded by these zombies, he was done for. After killing 50 zombies, this kind of fighting method would slowly exhaust him. Moreover, the zombies seemed to be endless. He even did not have time to check the one called screen status. However, Tang Xiaoyang somehow understood a bit about the attributes. Such as strength, agility, and stamina. Regarding vitality, magic power, and sense, he had no idea what it was. After all, he could not find out about it in the middle of these zombies. He at least must kill these zombies first and find out about the screen status later. As for the attribute points he got after leveling up to level 2, Tang Xiaoyang allocated the point to strength. He thought with increasing strength, he could kill the zombies with less hit. It was effective, sometimes he only needed two hits to kill the zombies. The problem was now the zombies, it was seemingly endless. I can't continue like this, I have to find a way to kill these zombies with only a hit. Tang Xiaoyang muttered in a low voice as he threw two hits to the nearest zombie and retreated. This zombie totaled the zombies Tang Xiaoyang killed to 51. Yes, rather than running away, Yang Xiaoyang was thinking a way to finish all zombies. He never thought to run away at all. Ah, that's it. Uncle Lan Butcher Shop has a big knife. I can use that knife to kill these damned zombies with one hack. Tang Xiaoyang remembered that there was a butcher shop in this district. He often saw the owner shop, Uncle Lan always bringing that butcher knife for him. Usually, he used it to threaten the men who teased his daughter. Tang Xiaoyang looked up, the distance to reach Uncle Lan butcher shop was 20 meters. The problem was the zombies, a crowd of zombies blocked his way to reach Uncle Lan shop. I can do it. I am Berserk Tang from Yuyukin, I never lost in the fighting regardless it's a zombie or human. I will kill everyone creatures who dare to stand in my way. Tang Xiaoyang rushed toward Uncle Lan's shop to retrieve the big knife. He charged forward as he brandished his steel pipe wherever zombie came from. His main purpose was to get the big knife, so he did not care if the zombie was killed or not. He ignored the zombie and rushed toward the shop. Tang Xiaoyang reached the shop in no time, but he found there were three zombies inside, a male zombie and two female zombies. Tang Xiaoyang recognized these three zombies. The male. 
The male zombie was Uncle Lon and the two female zombies were Uncle's wife and daughter. The zombies were walking around aimlessly inside the shop. They didn't seem affected by the ruckus outside. Tang Xiaoyang tried to open the door but found out it was locked. He broke the window with the pipe. Trang! The glass broke and Tang Xiaoyang jumped in through the window. He scanned the surroundings to find the big knife he was looking for. It did not long and Tang Xiaoyang found what he was looking for. A big knife about 10 cm in width and 1 meter in length. The knife was shining under the bright lamp, showing the knife's sharpness. Uncle Lan took care of his knife really well. The knife was at the end of the room. It was hanging there along with the smaller knives. Meanwhile, with the noise caused by the broken window, the three zombies moved toward Tang Xiaoyang. Of course, with a zombie slow movement, there was no way these three zombies could endanger Berserk Tang from Yuliukin. Tang Xiaoyang rushed forward and avoided the three zombies' claw. He reached the big knife and reached it with his left hand. Upon closer look, Tang Xiaoyang believed this knife was extremely sharp. Maybe I can kill a zombie in one hack with this butcher knife. Tang Xiaoyang looked up. The three family zombies turned toward him once again. They were still seven meters away from him. Looking at the big knife in his hand and looked back at the small family that turned zombie. Tang Xiaoyang bowed his head toward the three. I am sorry that I can't save you, but I will end your suffering here. Also, I will take this knife with me, thank you, Uncle An. Afterward, Tang Xiaoyang charged forward. He brandished the knife to the neck of the three zombies. In three hacks, he killed three zombies. Sure enough, the butcher knife was more efficient than the steel pipe. He killed another three zombies, with this, he already killed fifty-four zombies in total. Bang! Right after he killed three zombies inside the shop, the zombies outside broke the door and entered the shop. Heh, why do you guys so impatient to get killed? Even though he knew the zombies had no way to reply, he still said those words out for mere acting cool. He spat those words out and charged toward the zombies. His right hand held 1.5 meters of steel pipe and his left hand held an extremely sharp butcher knife. With these two weapons in his hand, Tang Xiaoyang went on a rampage. Firstly, he pushed the crowd of zombies with the pipe. He forced his way out of the shop. Second, he would hack here and there to every zombie came closer to him with the butcher knife in his left hand. The butcher knife really sharp, one zombie's head fell each time he swung the knife. You have leveled up. You gain two, attribute points. The robotic voice sounded once again when Tang Xiaoyang went out of the shop. Allocate attribute point into strength. Tang Xiaoyang immediately allocated the point he got to strength. Moreover, he also found something miraculous happened in his body. After he leveled, his exhaustion from fighting all of these zombies was gone. The feeling was the same when the first time he woke up from his sleep. Tang Xiaoyang discovered as long as he leveled up. He would recover the stamina, maybe it also healed an external wound. But it was still a possibility as he could not prove it yet. Nah, I will find out about that later. For now, let's wipe these zombies first. Tang Xiaoyang licked his dry lips and scanned the surrounding. First, as long as he kept killing the zombies, he would level up. Second, each time he leveled up, it would take him back to his prime condition. This meant, he did not need to worry as he would never get exhausted as long as he leveled up. Hora! 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 Tang Xiaoyang went for his berserk mode. He only needed to be careful to no get surrounded by the zombies. However, with the butcher knife, he could kill one zombie with only one hack. As long as the zombies stayed slow like this, there was nothing to be worried about. He went berserk for five hours and he cleaned the zombies in Yuliukin district. He did not know how many zombies he killed. However, he reached level six from killing all these zombies. All attribute points he got, Tang Xiaoyang allocated all of it to strength. He now could crush the zombie's head with one swing of his steel pipe. Ha, ha, ha. Tang Xiaoyang breathed heavily. Even though he would recover his stamina each time he leveled up, but he still got his head dizzy for fighting five hours non-stop. 
the source of his dizziness was the stinky green liquid on his body. Yes, this green liquid was extremely smelly that made one dizzy by smelling it. What made things worse was the district now filled with this green liquid. Yes, the green liquid was zombie's blood. Tang Xiaoyang had to endure this smelly liquid for five hours. His head was now getting dizzy from this smell. I have to wash. I could not bear with this smelly liquid anymore. He entered the most familiar building. It was a fruit shop on the first floor. Auntie Jiang was the owner of the shop and she rented out the second floor to a primary teacher. Tang Xiaoyang knew really well this primary teacher, Ao Shui. She was his sex partner. Actually, it was a complicated relationship and in fact, this Ao Shui had a fiancé. Tang Xiaoyang also knew her fiancé and one day, he found Ao Shui's fiancé was cheating behind her back. Out of kindness, he told this to Ao Shui, but he did not expect he would be her s asterisk ex partner after telling her fiancé's affair. It was really chaotic and complicated. Tang Xiaoyang entered the fruit shop. On the first floor, there was no zombie. He went upstairs and only stopped before a familiar door. Dong! 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 Ao Shui! Ao Shui! Are you inside? He tried to call her name, but he got no answer. Tang Xiaoyang sighed. Most likely Ao Shua already turned into a zombie. He squatted and took a key from the pot near the door. Ao Shua placed her spare key here so he could get into her room any time. Tang Xiaoyang opened the door and then, he saw two zombies right behind the door. Tang Xiaoyang leaped back and the two zombies missed their best chance to turn him into one of them. He pushed the female zombie with the steel pipe while hacked the other one with the butcher knife. Spurt! The green liquid splattered in all directions. Tang Xiaoyang himself got his clothes wet by the zombie blood. Fortunately this blood could not infect me. Doing! Dong! Dong! Congratulations! You have killed 1,000 zombies on the first day. You will be rewarded with three talents. You can now make a request for your talent. Please choose carefully. Two successions of robotic voice resounded in Tang Xiaoyang's head. Grower. Tang Xiaoyang could not be bothered with the robotic voice as zombie Ao Shui got up and approached him again. He bowed his head to Ao Shui, Ao Shui, thank you for all your services. Now I will end your suffering. After that, Tang Xiaoyang severed zombie Ao Shui's head with the butcher knife. Fua. Tang Xiaoyang back to his small house. He wanted to save the people of Yuyuyukin district, but all of them had been infected and turned into a zombie. He already checked all buildings and found no one survived through this ordeal. Sigh, I have failed to protect my people. Tang Xiaoyang let out a sigh. Yes, he regarded the people who lived in Yuyuyukin district as his people while he was the head of the people here. That was why he treated them kindly and helped them a lot. Tang Xiaoyang regarded this Yuyukin district as his territory while he was the lord of this territory. He also regarded the protection fee the people gave him as tax, not protection fee. The people paid their taxes to their lord, it was a natural matter. As for Dragon Wing, Tang Xiaoyang never regarded himself as one of them. He regarded Dragon Wing as a big empire while he was the vassal of this big empire. The taxes, protection fee, his people paid to him, he would tribute to the Dragon Wing as vassal. Yes, he regarded himself as vassal of Dragon Wing. He had no loyalty to this Dragon Wing, he just wanted to protect his territory. This was the reason Tang Xiaoyang never accepted the promotion Lu Gang offered. As for why he did not try to take Dragon Wing down. It because he knew, he alone was not enough to defeat Dragon Wing. Moreover, an underworld boss such as Lu Gang, he possessed a gun. No matter how strong he was, Tang Xiaoyang also knew his limit. He could not win against a gun. There was no way for him to win. For an orphan without any background and connection, there was only a little chance for him to become a big boss like Lu Gang. Knowing he could not win, Tang Xiaoyang joined Dragon Wing, as a vassal. He dropped from the school not to become a mob or dog. 
he wanted to be the leader, led many people under his wings. If not he was forced to, he would not join Dragon Wing. However, even though he did not want to, he had to. If he did not join Dragon Wing, he would be regarded as an enemy and Dragon Wing would not hesitate to crush him. He regarded as a vassal and joined Dragon Wing as the Lord of Yuliukan District. But now, he lost his people which was also meant he was no longer a lord. Without his people, he would automatically lose his status as lord. Nah, I will think about it later. For now, I have to check what is this screen status and talent, that robotic voice said that I got three talents for killing a thousand zombies. Screen status. Name, Tang Xiaoyang. Age, 26. Affiliation, none. Level, 6. Talent, none, you have 3, talents point. Attribute point, 0. Strength, 23. Agility, 8. Vitality, 6. Stamina, 10. Magic power, 1. Sense, 5. Skill, basic detection. Hmm, what is this affiliation? Tang Xiaoyang moved his hand to touch the screen status. He regarded this screen status as his smartphone. Affiliation, the state or relation of being closely associated or affiliated with a particular group. The explanation appeared of affiliation appeared. Hmm, so affiliation is to show if I belong to any group. Tang Xiaoyang nodded. With a heart of curiosity, he touched the age and explanation appeared like before. Age the length of an existence extending from the beginning to any given time. Then, he looked down and touched vitality. He understood the strength, agility, and stamina, but he did not know what this vitality meant. Vitality, power of enduring. Strengthening the flesh and increasing the capability of healing. Oh ho, so this vitality is my defense. If really like this, I should allocate my attribute points to vitality and strength. Maybe high vitality could block a bullet? Tang Xiaoyang was wondering if he could block a bullet with high vitality. It said vitality strengthening his flesh. He shook his head and continued with the next attribute, magic power. Tang Xiaoyang really had no clue regarding this magic power. Magic power, possession of authority over magic. Ugh, what is this? Possession of authority over magic? What magic? Is that magic that in a TV show? If so, this attribute quite useless for me. I don't like to use a trick in a fight. Tang Xiaoyang connected the magic in the screen status to the magic in the TV show. He never thought about the magic in the fantasy or game, he never played a game or read a fantasy story after all. It was Tang Xiaoyang impression of magic, a trickery. Tang Xiaoyang did not dawdle along in magic power, he touched the next attribute, sense. Sense, a specialized function or mechanism, such as sight, hearing, or smell, by which a certain creature receives and responds to external stimuli. Tang Xiaoyang nodded his head. He got the meaning behind this explanation. But he was still clueless with magic. Then what about talent? He touched talent on the screen status. Talent, the natural endowments of a person. By consuming talent point, you will be granted a talent. So the talent points can be exchanged to a real talent? But how? He basically understood that much, but he did not know how to use the talent point. Exchanging the talent point for talent, Tang Xiaoyang did not know how to do that. There was only a little clue. Will it work if I request it out loud? Tang Xiaoyang held his chin. Hmm, with zombies appeared everywhere. I need an infinite strength and then, I can slaughter them with ease, this is one. There are two more talent points. A lewd smiled foam on his lips. I want an infinite strength, charm and charisma to conquer women, and the last one, I want to upgrade my rod so I can please my women. I want all these talents. Tang Xiaoyang shouted aloud, but he let out a burst of laughing afterward. Ah, there's no way such talents existed eh? Ding! Dong! Three, talent points are consumed. You have been granted divine body. Good luck, gamer Tang Xiaoyang.
Tang Xiaoyang immediately checked his screen status. Name, Tang Xiaoyang. Age, 26. Affiliation, none. Level, 6. Talent, Divine Body. Attribute point, 0. Strength, 33. Agility, 13. Vitality, 11. Stamina, 15. Magic Power, 6. Sense, 5. Skill, Basic Detection. He saw that Divine Body was really added to his talent. Tang Xiaoyang immediately touched the words Divine Body. Divine Body, S Level Talent. Granting an unlimited growth of strength, charisma of Emperor and Charm to conquer the beauties, and an upgraded P Asterisk NIS with a compatible size, last longer, and guarantee to make all women pleased. Divine Body Attribute, plus two strength and plus one other attributes each time leveled up. Tang Xiaoyang had his mouth open wide. It took some time before he could believe such talent really existed. Such talents really existed. He muttered in a low voice. However, he found this talent divine body was really good. It increased his attribute by leveling up. Before he only got two attributes points, but he now got eight attributes points for leveling up. Wow, this talent is really amazing. With 33 strength, I can crush the zombie's head with ease. Even though the two other talents seemed useless, Tang Xiaoyang was satisfied with the talent he got. Especially the charisma of Emperor, he was fond of those words. Nah, with my current attribute, I have no problem to face even another thousand zombies. Tang Xiaoyang was quite confident with his strength. It's already been some time since the zombies appeared. Maybe the government already set up a shelter right now, let's look for them. I will look for other people in. A? Eh? Zombies appeared out of nowhere, it was surely a mess everywhere and most likely, the government already fell. This Yuliukan district for example, there was no survivor here. All of them turned into a zombie except for him, and most likely the official or even the soldier also turned into zombies. No government meant there was no law, there was no law meant there was no restraint. The little chance to realize his dream to be a big boss. No! He did not want to be a big boss, but an emperor. He would establish his own empire and became an emperor. That is it. I will establish empire and I will be the first emperor of my empire. Moreover, with this weird attribute, there is a chance I can win against the bullet. First Emperor of Tang Empire, Origin Emperor Tang Xiaoyang. From today onwards, there's no more Berserk Tang from Yuliukin, but Origin Emperor Tang Xiaoyang. Ha 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 ha. Oops, my bad habit. Let's see, my goal is to establish an empire. To establish an empire, I need territory, people, and beauty to be my queen. The first goal is to choose a territory. The second goal, I have to gather the people. The third goal, I have to create my harem palace. Tang Xiaoyang went out and let out a laugh. Ha ha ha. The world will witness how this origin emperor establishes the greatest empire in history, Tang Empire. The youth who grew up in a small district stepped into a new path with great ambition. Tang Xiaoyang left Yuliukan district. The place where he grew up, bringing a greater ambition with him. Hmm, I have decided to establish an empire. First, territory, Shanghai is my first choice of course. It will be hard to clean all of these zombies though. Yes, Shanghai was the city with the largest population. To capture Shanghai, Tang Xiaoyang had to clean his territory from these zombies. It would be tough, but it was not impossible. Moreover, going to another city would be more troublesome as he had to pass the sea of zombies. Shanghai was a good choice already. He only needed to take it slowly, SH city would be his. First, I have to set up my palace. Ah. I know the good building for my palace, a five-star hotel in Pudong. It's a little far, but I can save people who survive on the way. They would be the people of Tang Empire. Tang Xiaoyang decided the first plan to set up his Tang Empire. But that place is crowded, there would many zombies there. I have to prepare the supply. 
Tang Xiaoyang stopped to a shop that sold many kinds of clothes and bags. He entered the shop, took seven sets of clothes and two big backpacks with him. The next stop is a convenience store. Yuliukan district was devoid of life, only a man walked through the zombie's remnant. There was a nearby convenience store at the opposite of Yuliukan district. Hiro was heading to that convenience store before he would go to Pudong. Quick, Tang Xiaoyang reached the end of Yuliukan district and a medium-sized convenience store came into his sight. There were many zombies loitering around the convenience store. There were at least a hundred zombies around the convenience store. Tang Xiaoyang pulled his two steel pipes from his back. Hmm, killing zombies is a must. I have to get more level and become stronger to be a real emperor. Respect, it was one of the most important things that an emperor should have. Being respected by his people, being stronger was one of the ways to get respected by his people. There was no one going to respect a weak emperor. Tang Xiaoyang rushed toward the crowd of zombies with two steel pipes in his hand. EW ovals up Tez on NOV slash L slash B, I, dot. Com. As Tang Xiaoyang's running footsteps sounded, the zombies turned around. With their slow speed, the zombies began swarming toward Tang Xiaoyang. Splat. 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 With a swing, Tang Xiaoyang crushed the zombie's head with ease. 33 strength attributes showed it was not a mere number. He cleaned zombies around the convenience store at a frightening speed. The zombie's brain juice splattered everywhere along with the green liquid. Soon, the zombies around the convenience store piled up with their heads crushed. Tang Xiaoyang was not in a hurry to enter the convenience store, but he wanted to clean the zombies around first. Just like his former title, he was called Berserk not without reason. After half an hour, the robotic voice resounded in Tang Xiaoyang's head. You have leveled up. You gain two, attribute points. Tang Xiaoyang allocated the attribute point one to strength and another one to vitality. The fatigue he felt also being washed away and he was back in his peak condition. Afterward, he went to kill more zombies. At first, it looked like the zombies were only about a hundred. But soon he found the zombies seemed to be endless. He retreated to a safe distance for a moment and then scanned the surroundings. He found the zombies from the other districts also came toward his direction. Hmm, zombies seem to be sensitive to sound. These zombies were attracted by the sound I created as I am fighting against the zombies around the convenience store. Tang Xiaoyang concluded. As for communication, he could not find a sign of these zombies were communicating with each other. This was the only conclusion he could think. Even the loud noise attracted the zombies in the other districts, Tang Xiaoyang did not plan to lower the noise he caused. Instead, he wanted all zombies to come to him. Even he wanted to create more noise. And then, another round of crazy zombie slaughter started. More and more zombies' bodies without heads piled around the convenience store. Tang Xiaoyang continued the crazy fight of his for another five hours. After five hours of a bloody fight, the zombies stopped coming. No, to be more exact, the zombies were piling down on the street and all of them no longer move. Tang Xiaoyang's body was bathed in the green liquid. He washed his body for nothing as the stinks liquid all over his body now. Sigh, I have to wash again, also, I need a raincoat. Tang Xiaoyang let out a sigh upon the sight of his body covered in the green liquid. Even though he still could hold the stink smell permeated from the zombie's blood, it was still unpleasant. Tang Xiaoyang went back to Yuliukan district. Fifteen minutes later, he was back to the convenience store with two new backpacks and wet hair. With no zombies around, Tang Xiaoyang entered the convenience store. He picked the chocolate bar, biscuit, bread, mineral water, various kinds of energy drinks, and lastly, he took ten raincoats. He put on a raincoat and covered the two backpacks with a raincoat as well. After everything was prepared, Tang Xiaoyang went out of the convenience store. When he reached outside, Tang Xiaoyang found bikes beside the convenience store. Riding bikes is way faster to reach my destination, but he shook his head immediately. Tang Xiaoyang ruled out the option of riding bikes. Not only he wanted to reach his destination, 
but he also wanted to level up along the way. Riding bikes could be faster rather than walking, but he wanted to kill zombies and find survivors along the way. But I will take this. He took the helm from the bikes. It was a full-face helmet, it could shield his head from the stink green liquid. Wearing a dark blue raincoat, wearing a black full-face helmet, bringing two big backpacks, and holding two steel pipes. Tang Xiaoyang departed to the highway. Yes, to reach the five-star hotel, he only had to follow the highway and he would reach his destination within a few days. The highway was not that far from Yuliukan district, it was supposed to be fifteen minutes by walking. However, as Tang Xiaoyang had to kill the zombies along the way, it took him an hour to reach the highway. The raincoat and the helmet proved their worth in the first battle. The black helmet and the dark blue raincoat turned into green when Tang Xiaoyang reached the highway. The highway was pretty empty, no chaos as such a car crushed each other and there was only a little zombie on the highway. It was understandable as the zombies appeared at midnight, there was only a little traffic at midnight. In the end, Tang Xiaoyang decided to take the normal road and followed the highway. He could only kill a little zombie and would not be able to find any survivors if he chose the highway. Tang Xiaoyang came down and followed the highway. Below the highway, there were many zombies walking around aimlessly. This was what Tang Xiaoyang looking for. He walked below the highway and slaughtered every zombie he found on the way. As he walked further, he encountered more zombies. After an hour of walking, the robotic voice sounded once again after a few hours. You have leveled up. You gain two, attributes points. The same as before, he allocated to one strength and one vitality. After another hour of walking, Tang Xiaoyang stopped. It was already noon, he stopped at the nearest house to have lunch. Three pieces of bread and a bottle of mineral water. It was his lunch menu. He washed his hand and enjoyed the simple lunch. After finishing the three pieces of bread, Tang Xiaoyang continued his trip. Three pieces of bread were not enough to fill his empty belly. He ate the chocolate bars along the way. As he walked further, Tang Xiaoyang only met with zombies. He had not found a single survivor yet. Tang Xiaoyang frowned, he just could not believe that all people turned zombies. But the fact showed him the truth, he could not find a single survivor. Even until sunset, Tang Xiaoyang still could not find a single survivor, but only zombies along the way. He even raised his leveled up to three levels. As it was already evening, Tang Xiaoyang decided to stop. He stopped right before a big mansion. It was rare to find a big mansion below the highway. In the end, Tang Xiaoyang decided to stay one night in this big mansion. It was fortunate that power outage not happened, so Tang Xiaoyang did not have to spend a night in the dark. He entered the big mansion. He had been fighting all day since midnight until now. Even though each time he leveled would bring him back to his peak condition, but he was still weary from fighting non-stop. He needed a good rest. But, the robotic voice seemed to did not like to let Tang Xiaoyang got a good rest. As soon as he entered the big mansion, it sounded with an unexpected notification. You have entered an inhabitant territory. You have triggered a mini-game. Mini-game, kill or get killed. Task, please kill the territory's keeper to finish the mini-game. Note, during the game, you can't get out of the building. Good luck, gamer Tang Xiaoyang. The atmosphere turned eerie and cold wind blew into Tang Xiaoyang's face. The hair on his back stood up and he felt it was as if someone was watching over him. He immediately drew the butcher knife and a long steel pipe out. He scanned the surrounding, the dimmed big hall, there was a stair led to the second floor a few meters ahead of him, there was a piano on the right, sofa and table on the left, and there were a few landscape paintings on the wall as well. The hall was dimmed as only a few wall lamps turned on, giving out of an eerie atmosphere. Tang Xiaoyang raised his guard as he processed the information he received from the robotic voice. The robotic voice said he just entered an inhabitant territory and triggered a mini-game. That meant he just entered someone's territory, but he did not understand about the mini-game. Even though he did not understand what mini-game was, but he understood what he needed to do. It was to kill the owner of this territory. 
the robotic voice said clearly, killed or get killed. Along with the task that the robotic voice said, he understood that he must kill the territory lord or he would get killed by the owner of this territory. SH asterisk TTY robotic voice, I want to rest, not fighting. Tang Xiaoyang cursed. He was so tired after killing the zombies all day, he wanted to have a good sleep. However, he did not get a night of good sleep, instead, he must fight an unknown creature. Tang Xiaoyang scanned the surroundings vigilantly. He was searching for the one called Keeper of this mansion. As the air inside the mansion turned colder and eerier, he still could not find anything. There was not even a zombie inside this mansion. But he was sure of one thing, the thing called Keeper was watching over him. The reason was simple, he could feel it. The feeling of being watched was getting stronger and stronger. However, what frustrated Tang Xiaoyang, he could not find the thing that watched over him. It was not that afraid of the Keeper, but something unknown was scarier and more dangerous. There was no voice could be heard, but somehow he could feel that thing was getting closer to him. His guts were told how to move, but he also did not dare to move carelessly. Sweat covered his forehead and he felt his back damp with sweat as well. Where are you, B asterisk starred. Where are you, B asterisk TCH. He moved his eyes to the second floor, but there was nothing there. He looked at the top of the cabinet, under the table, he looked at every corner, but he still could not find the creature he should kill. Tang Xiaoyang furrowed his eyebrows. He was very sure and believed in his instinct. It saved his life a few times, so he believed in the instinct he had. Just where that Ba is guard. Tang Xiaoyang stopped as his eyes went wide. He realized something and then, slowly, he raised his head and looked up. Ba dump. Ba dump. Ba dump. Tang Xiaoyang's heartbeat was beating furiously. He felt like his heart was going to jump out of his chest. Right on the top, on the ceiling, there was a creature watching him. It was like a lizard, it had its limb on the ceiling, but it did not fall. The creature was about two meters long, its four limbs were longer than a normal adult, and it had a long hair covered its face. Tang Xiaoyang found there was a similarity between this creature and a zombie. Tang Xiaoyang activated his only skill, basic detection. A screen popped out before his face. The screen showed the creature's attribute. Swiffer, stage 2 zombie. Level, 15. Strength, 35. Agility, 52. Vitality, 34. Magic power, 0. Skill, claw strike. Tang Xiaoyang's eyes went wide when he saw the agility of this monster. It had 52 in agility, thrice as his while he was superior in strength. However, even he had superior strength, it would be useless if he could not land a hit at the monster. He stared at the monster, he was a bit nervous now. If not the reminder for the robotic voice that he could not run away from the mansion, Tang Xiaoyang would definitely run away from this monster. It was not that he was afraid, but he had to admit he was weaker than the monster. Rather than fighting an impossible fight, he would get himself stronger and came back again later. However, he could not run away, he had to face this monster. Killed or get killed, he was in this situation, killed or get killed. He had to kill it if he wanted to come out of this mansion. Swoosh! Tang Xiaoyang saw the monster pounce toward him from the top. He immediately rolled forward and avoided the monster. When he stood up, he saw the monster already dash toward him with its four limbs. Fwoosh! Swiffer slammed its long arm toward Tang Xiaoyang. Tang Xiaoyang immediately raised his steel pipe. He hit the long arm away, but the long claws of the monster other hand shot toward his face. SH asterisk T. Thanks to his experience in fighting those years, it saved him. He avoided the long claw by rolling down to the right. After rolling down, he stepped back a few meters and then looked up. He saw the monster did not chase after him but staring at him with its scary look. There was a difference between the normal zombie and the zombie he faced now. This Swiffer looked alive, its eyes did not lose its light. A clear red eyes with a deformed look. The normal zombie had their eyes turned gray which differentiated the normal zombie and Swiffer. 
he stared at the Swiffer, the Swiffer also stared at him. A staring contest for a moment. Tang Xiaoyan was thinking a way to kill the Swiffer while it was unknown whether the Swiffer also had the same thought. Before he could not even think of a way to kill Swiffer, he saw Swiffer rush to him. With its four limbs, it extremely fast to catch up. In a few seconds, Swiffer already in front of Tang Xiaoyan. It brandished its long arm toward him. This time, Tang Xiaoyan did not block the hand. He stepped back and avoided the incoming arm. However, he made a mistake, he should not have retreated back. Just as he thought he was safe, he saw the monster lunged over him with its two arms forward. He could not even raise his steel pipe to block, the two arms slammed into his chest. Bang! Tang Xiaoyang's body flew into the air and hit the wall. Ugh! He released out a pain groan as an acute pain assaulted his chest. It was fortunate Swiffer did not pierce his body with its long claws. He would be dead for sure if that claws pierced his chest. Enduring the pain, he moved away from the wall. If he stayed longer, he would be dead for sure as Swiffer lunged over him with its long claws forward. Bang! The wall cracked as the long claws pierced through the wall. He did not dare to imagine what would happen to him if that long claws pierced his chest. Feck! He just could not think of a way to kill the Swiffer. He held no advantage except for his strength. Its agile movement was the most troublesome. His body could not react at the Swiffer's fast movement. First, I have to slow its movement, if this keeps going, I will get killed by this monster. I don't want to die now, I haven't established my empire yet. But how? Tang Xiaoyang was frustrated, but he was helpless at the same time. He began scanning the surrounding. He was looking for a place or thing that could slow Swiffer's movement. Entering a small room was not an option or he might die if he fought against this monster in a small room. However, he could not think of a way to fight the Swiffer. Tang Xiaoyang's gaze never left the Swiffer as he was in deep thought. He saw the Swiffer took some time to pull its claw from the wall. Looking at this, Tang Xiaoyang got an idea. The risk was high, but it's worth a try. It was better than dead without fighting back. He was berserk Tang. No, I am the first emperor of the Tang Empire, origin emperor, Tang Xiaoyang. I will not die here and now, I will kill that vast asterisk RD monster and establish my empire. With that said, he ran to the opposite of the Swiffer. He had his back on the wall while the Swiffer managed to pull its long claw from the wall. It turned around and its head moved around, looking for its prey. The Swiffer found the prey was on the opposite side. It immediately rushed toward Tang Xiaoyang with an extremely fast movement. It was even faster than before. Fush! In five meters away from Tang Xiaoyang, it lunged toward him with his claw forward. Tang Xiaoyang was shocked with the speed it mustered. He could not think the Swiffer could get even faster than before. Bang! The Swiffer lunged over Tang Xiaoyang, its big body covered Tang Xiaoyang. Screen status. Name, Tang Xiaoyang. Age, 26. Affiliation, none. Level, 11. Talent, Divine Body. Attribute Point, 0. Strength, 48. Agility, 18. Vitality, 21. Stamina, 20. Magic Power, 11. Sense, 6. Skill, Basic Detection, 